Welcome to Good Mythical More. Are you gluten free or wish you were? Well, these are the things that you should eat. Wish you were. You're gonna wish Usually you were. It's a, you have to be. I know. I know, but after tasting these snacks, you're gonna wanna be. But first, we're going to list them all. Animals that can eat you. Tiger. Rhinos. <laughs> all right, okay, we're done. Hold on. A, a rhino can't a rhino eat you? A rhino is a herbivore, man. Uh, they eat you. What they, well, what's the horn for? I don't know, but it's not for eating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, the second animal, the first animal my you first said, animal. rhinos. It did sound like you were about to say lobsters right after that. So. Well, they might as well have. Uh, hold on. Lobsters probably eat you, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been so afraid of rhinos. <laughs> well, you should be, because they can kill you, but they're not going to eat you. They will kill you. So just out of spite? Yeah, like, in your everyday territorial. life, I don't even you've like been afraid them. of rhinos? Yeah. I was afraid they were going to eat me. <laughs> you were seeing them at the zoo. I, you know, uh, when it come in here, help me out. If rhinos could also eat you, they would be even. The, they would be the scariest land animal there is. I man. know. Right? Maybe you're thinking about hippos. I was thinking about hippos. Hippos I also don't think they, they, eat they don't you eat you, but they will kill you with well, their mouths. Well, violently destroy you. Oh, yeah. They'll eat you. Yeah. Hippos will eat you. Oh, they'll eat you. I don't think they'll swallow you on purpose. I think they will bite you <laughs> and crush your skull. I don't when it, know. Wait, hippos? Hippos, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, Gwyneth, you're doing you're doing good work. <laughs> you scared you're, of rhinos? You're bringing yeah, it to I'm terrified. us. <laughs> Even more now. Um, and you should see the way they poop. When was the last time you went to the zoo? Um, it's been years, actually. Have you guys been to the zoo more recently than I'm that? I'm anti-zoo. Okay. I thought about it's going. It's too scary, right? I thought about going recently. Uh, a lot of walking. And I just didn't make it happen. A lot I didn't of feeling go. sorry for animals. That's what I was going to say. I think the experience of it is very different than it used to be when you were a kid. Because yeah. you're like, oh, they're sad. Yeah, but they got big. I mean, it's not like it's the Griffith Park Zoo that you walk by out there anymore. They're not in cages. <laughs> I mean, big old cages. Yeah, a lot, most of them are in yeah. like habitats to get fed and stuff. You know, I'm not talking about, like uh, We're whales, the ones in the enclosure. Whales, that's a problem. You, you put a whale in an enclosure. But you got a little, an otter. Like, I mean, he's probably happy. Have you seen the otters? They swim on their backs. I mean, it's great. They seem happy everywhere, but I think they, they just have a, a grin plastered on their face. Oh, oh my God. God, it's all an act. <laughs> yeah, it's all an act. Uh, what you been doing? What you been tasting? So we've been tasting a lot of gluten-free stuff lately because it, I think it's like helpful to people. Sporked being a service and yes. we taste things yes. that we like want to recommend to people. And sometimes it's like people with dietary restrictions need recommendations too. So... Of we course. have been Dang. trying, so, okay, basically, we're always trying gluten-free stuff, and lately, I feel like it's getting better. Like, the landscape's getting better. Oh, yeah? Yes. So, we do, like, just redid our um, gluten-free pizza ranking, and we were like, well, there's, like, really good ones, so I wanted to share them with you. And All this right. is, this is Beecher's. Mm -hmm. Uh I had somebody suggest that I get Beecher's cheese, and I actually ordered, like, Beecher's yeah. cheese just delivered straight to my house at one point. Did you like it? It was so good. I think it's really good too. So this is Beecher's gluten-free mac and cheese. I mean, that's good. Not comp not not eating it right next to something, which right. of course you wouldn't. If Do you, you need mm -hmm. gluten in mac and cheese? I think. I don't think so. I know, the pasta is really good, right? I think uh, I would just add some pepper, maybe a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. but that, that's fair game, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that, Ooh, that's um, good. I wouldn't suggest you add salt since if you ate this whole thing, you would have seventeen hundred milligrams of that. Ooh! Um, oh, really? A thousand calories per container. That is, that's not just good mac and cheese, gluten-free mac and cheese. That's good mac and cheese. And that's what I think too. Well, it says world's best on the box. So well, I mean, let's not get too excited. They've, I mean, sounds like they've earned it. I. It's a bold claim, but. I don't well, know. Wait, it's this... in quotes. So what is the actual who are they quoting here? That lady on the box. <laughs> Beecher. Well, there's a guy on the back. Our customers say it best. This oh. is Stephen B from Tucson, Arizona. Oh, does he say world's best? That's uh, who's being quoted, Stephen B. No, from no, no. no. Tucson? He's just on the back. Now he look if you can make a zoom in on him, he looks like a guy that would have a Twitter account that you probably wouldn't want to follow. <laughs> That's really funny. He looks like you know. 
He's like Gary Busey, but cooler because um, he's wearing sunglasses. Uh, the B stands for Beecher, by the way. So I don't know if you can trust that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. He is a Beecher. He is a Beecher. <laughs> I actually think that the um, the quotes make it legal to say that, and it's not a claim. Right. Okay. But Stephen B did say, Definitely. love you, Beechers. Your frozen products are some of the best I've ever eaten, especially your mac and cheese. Well, I mean, Spork degrees, and now so do we. We might get Stephen B on the Spork team. <laughs> See how that works well, that'd out. Be fun. Okay. That'd be fun. You want to get to know a little Stephen B? All right, let's throw this over there. So this we is, might want more I mean, of it. That's number one at this point. One. If we are ranking these, there you go. What's next? Okay, next. Why don't we try? Um, how about a pizza? Sure. How about yes. a pepperoni pizza? Okay, this is a pepperoni pizza. Yeah. yeah. So that is interesting. We're just gonna eat the frozen packaging. version. Just go for it. Oh yeah. no, you've already made one. Got it. Just, there we go. Oh, oh okay. take and bake. What brand is this? Oh, cauliflower crust. This is Mama Cozy, and this is an Aldi pizza. No, they don't have anybody means... on the back saying anything. Oh my God, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen needs to write you? a letter to them. Hey, so this is, yeah, it says gluten-free, cauliflower crust. Not all cauliflower crust pizzas are totally gluten-free, so this is special. Oh, that's a nice pizza. That one there I already bit off of. Look at that. It looks like um, school cafeteria pizza, and I mean that in a good way. Um, mm -hmm. Pepperonis are good. Yeah. The taste is good. They could go full bore with those. It's hard mm -hmm. to get the right crisp mm -hmm. on a cauliflower pizza, but you know that's what you're getting. Mm -hmm. That's why they make the word cauliflower so dang big. Because you don't want to get home and not know. I mean, not only did they put it on the front here, they're like, just in case, we also put it in this big truck. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephen B, you're watching. <laughs> Idiot. It, so it feels like bread. <laughs> Wait, we went from wanting to hire Stephen B for sport to now Stephen B being an idiot that we're chastising. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna keep flip flopping. <laughs> okay. I know. He didn't have anything to do with it. I do like that um, packaging. Like it's a nice box. Like, and I don't. And that cool. was not supposed it to be really a box is. reference. I just am saying <laughs> that. You know how on like most pizzas they have that thin like rip at it type of box, and this yeah. is like. In fact, a, we have another one that looks uh, just like that. This an, is a, a box nice you can box. hold on to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can send something back. You get like a frisbee that went bad. You can send it back to the manufacturer <laughs> in this box and know what's in there. Just drop it off at UPS. What is it? It's a frisbee. You can see it. Stephen B put it in there. <laughs> It's cauliflower, idiot. <laughs> um, that's great, actually. Well, taste wise, it's not. It's not real pizza. It's cauliflower pizza. Yeah, for cauliflower pizza, it's pretty darn good. Yeah, I, I like mean, cauliflower I pizza because it's like got that chewy kind of crust. I think it's. It does oh, taste like it. it's diff. Okay, right. we'll move it safely into second place. Yeah. Okay, but probably it's no mac and cheese. Probably gonna shift, but we'll see. How about okay? Since we just did a pizza, let's just do another pizza. We'll yeah. do them back to back. Okay. This is a completely different kind of pizza, though, because it's a margarita pizza, Margarita's and bad. it's like uh, Neapolitan style. Oh, okay. And take a look at that. It's got I mean, I think ice, that's... It's got chocolate, vanilla, and <laughs> gluten, strawberry. Gluten-free <laughs> dough Yum. is sourced from the Campania region in Italy. Wow. Is that a quote from Steven? <laughs> yeah. Does this have any quotes? No. Why is our freezing hmm. better? Cryogenic freezing. They've, they've done a lot of things, and they want to tell you about it. Hmm. Hmm. Not cauliflower. Very different. Mm hmm. I love the sauce on this one because it reminds me of sauce that you get at an actual Italian restaurant on a Neapolitan pizza. Flavor wise, I like it, but when you go directly at the bread mm -hmm. and you don't include gluten in the bread. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of thing that if you eat gluten-free bread on a regular basis, maybe you've adjusted, but mm -hmm. if you don't eat gluten-free bread on a regular basis, you have not yet adjusted. Mm -hmm. Do you adjusted. prefer it over the cauliflower, though? No, I don't. All right. I, I kind of don't either. Okay. All right, cauliflower staying in second place because it's for kinda, now. It's spongy. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't have gluten in it. I think that this would benefit from being, um, yes. I think it would benefit from being like overcooked. Probably. Yeah, it would I think benefit if you cooked from it, gluten. <laughs> yeah, it would benefit from <laughs> yeah, a little bit of gluten. <laughs> I think if you, if you cooked it until it got crispy. Yeah, it's not bad though. It, you know, it gets growing on. On a pizza stone, how about that? There you go. I don't have one. Run it back, pizza stone. 
Um, we do have a gluten bread uh, regular eating uh, person who has approached me with the request to oh. taste that pizza and let would me know. Would that be Jenna? And that would be Jenna. Yeah. So if you do want Jenna, to bring that. Here. You said gluten, you mean gluten free. Yeah. yeah, that's that's yeah. The, that's which the, one? That's yeah, the not, the, not the cauliflower. Not the cauliflower. I, I, I already not know the, what yeah. that tastes the, like. The I don't other, know what this tastes like. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This is someone who, who's <laughs> yeah, that tell us what you whose barometer like has yeah. not has been adjusted. Mm -hmm. Meaning our taste buds don't oh, work both, quite as well. Both have the green yeah, y'all are y'all are greenies. Right. And we can put your quote on the back of the box mm, now. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah we'll, we'll as long as it's good. We'll write it in. What do you think? Like it. Okay, see? Yeah, well. Yeah, because your standards are low. It's well, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I don't eat the gluten. It's okay. Yeah, I, I know my standards are low. I'm the taste is good. Have... Yeah. The taste is good. The texture for a gluten boy, I just can't get with it. Okay. Um, it's needs just like more a deep gluten. dishy. It's just like a, a, a squishy. What do you think what? of the shellfish in it? Well, there's none of that. I know that already. <laughs> Deathly allergic. It's a clam pizza. Yeah. Definitely allergic, yeah. It's a clam pizza, Jenna. You all haven't done that to me. Josh is the one who's almost killed me a few times. It's fine. Right. <laughs> Enjoy it. Take it Take it on the go. All right, what do we got okay. next? Okay. Um, she likes it. Since and she would move it above, but okay. she knows. It's good. I'm glad. That makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. Look how good I feel right now. Um, you so, look relaxed. <laughs> thanks. I feel incredibly relaxed. But I'm nervous because now I'm going to serve you people more bread and uh, you're going to uh, maybe uh, not like yeah, 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 yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Straight up Texas toast. Now, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard is, without gluten. That's okay. So, that's the thing. This Rudy's is a, Rocky Mountain Bakery. This is a straight up fat ass piece of gluten free bread. Now, how does Stephen so, get the gluten out of the bread? Who does who? How does Steven get the gluten out of the bread? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what's his process? <laughs> well, and, and if it's, you, and, you know. and what does Rudy do if Steven's doing that? What Rudy does Rudy is, do? I think Rudy is Steven's middle name. <laughs> I would friend. love to have Steven B on the show. Can we show him one more? I'd just like to invite Steven B to come on. He's from on. Tucson. Just, I mean, he's in the next state over. Yeah. Come on in, Steven. Yep. Um, We've got to have a Stephen B. taste test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of his faves. What do you think? Texture-wise, it actually isn't bad. Right? Taste-wise. Something off? Well, it's... Eat it, a second it, bite. It's still, it's still like oven bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Eat a second bite? Oven bread? <laughs> what, as it's a, like, what do you mean? I don't... I'm just follow, I'm trying versus. to follow along. Like, you're just supposed to, like, who puts bread in an oven? <laughs> Good question. The people who make bread? <laughs> no, the people who make toast bread. <laughs> There's something satisfying about watching a man wearing, uh, eating a piece of bread that has a piece of bread on his shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say something. Amazing. But I, I, I'm fine with it. It's getting better. It does get better. It gets better. It's kind of greasy. I don't know. I really like that. That should be their slogan, mean. Rudy's. It gets better. <laughs> I think it's taken, but that's okay. But in, 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 in quotes, though. Right. In quotes, if you so put it's in different. quotes, you can say right. it. Right. It's, not, it's not the same as the other thing. No, two bites in, I, I am definitely sold, and I think it's better than both pizzas. Don't you? Agreed. Oh my God. Amazing. I think that's so impressive for just like a fat piece of gluten free bread. You did it, Steven. Yeah. Wow. Woo! Oh my gosh. And now Rudy this. Do. Okay, so now we have a gluten free chicken pot pie. Uh, Steven, now he's going by Blake. This is weird. And this is, yeah. Oh, we got people in the back. He likes to keep people guessing, doesn't he? <laughs> he really does. Oh, that's it's what his Steven. last name is Blake. <laughs> Steven B. Steven Rudy Blake. <laughs> <gasps> yes. Gluten free chicken pot pie. Okay. So this actually made our, this wasn't even a specific, this wasn't like a gluten free pot pie ranking. This made our best chicken pot pie ranking. Oh, Because we thought this was so pies. good. Yeah. Mm, that... But we do like to also include gluten free things. So. <laughs> what? What y'all giggling about? <laughs> We're trying to find Stephen B. And <laughs> Carney did a. Google image search of that Top. thing. And it's just like a bunch of men wearing sunglasses yeah. that came up. Oh my yeah. god. They all wear sunglasses? Have you like wow. it, that's a meme, guys. It's a meme. It is. White middle aged white dudes wearing sunglasses in their profile picture. <laughs> Usually have a certain political perspective. Uh oh. 
Don't let it burn you now. A little hot. Mmm. It's like a flaky crust. Mm. I, I wouldn't bat an eye at that crust. Right? Huh. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get any chicken, but... Steven. I know. I didn't really either. There's like... You get a little bit of chicken. A lot there. of peas in here, but... This is this is good. Let me get a little bit of that right here. Yeah, I get that. Um, get in there. That's just that, what? That's yeah. moving above the bread to me. I'm burning. Okay. It is. It's, it's not better. Hot. It's not better than Stephen's mac and cheese, though. No way. Mm. All right. You putting it in number two? Hot. I'd put it at number two. I think it's a little bit better than the gluten-free bread. Yeah, because I didn't know mm -hmm. the difference. So we're moving the pizzas down, and we're putting that there. Well. Did we go through everything? Mm-hmm, that's it. That's let's all go, I brought. Let's go through it all again. You want to eat some ice cream? I think we might have some. I would love to. Quite a bit. Okay. Ice cream's gluten-free. Yes, yes. Steven? Jenna? Okay. Okay. Uh, the mix-ins. Well, thanks for your time, Steven. Um, <clears throat> give our best to Tucson. It's hot out there. <laughs> I, <laughs> I never actually got to see the picture of Steven. I think he looks like... I don't know. I think yeah. he actually looks like a nice guy. Uh, he might be I'm a not great worried guy. about what he says online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as his Twitter bio isn't husband, father. <laughs> <laughs> Skier that crashes into you and then says it's your fault. Oh, you've had that happen? That's what he looks like to me. Is that what he looks like? Yeah. I don't remember what that guy looks like, but I like yeah. that. <laughs> the guy who sued Gwyneth well, it's going to be <laughs> awkward when Steven comes on the show now. <laughs> know. Are you a skier, Steven? <laughs> <laughs> Create your own burp bracket over on sports.com and check out their soda rankings while you're there. <clears throat>